people inside the Cheeburger Cheeburger restaurant in Amherst. News 4's Ed Dranch investigated to find out if any of those businesses have installed crash barriers since. Family Dollar, Kenwin Liquor, Cheeburger, Cheeburger. Three different crashes, three similar outcomes months later. There is still nothing protecting these businesses from another car plowing through the storefront. Nobody wants to spend the money. <laughs> That's the truth. Ken Wienkowski says he saw the aftermath of this accident at Kenwin Liquor Store in Amherst. He says concrete bollards should be installed to offer protection to patrons inside, but he says he sees the other side of the story. I mean, everybody's hurting, so no one's spending the money on it until it becomes a law, then you're going to have to do it. That's what it always seems to boil down to. The Amherst Town Board had discussed putting those bollards in front of buildings after this double deadly accident at Cheeburger Cheeburger on Niagara Falls Boulevard. Attorney Lawler Quinlan explains there is a cost benefit scale businesses have to weigh when it comes to that level of protection. There's a question as to whether these protective barriers uh, are necessary. And the question is what do you need to do to respond to that kind of risk? Does the risk justify the cost of putting in protective barriers. A civil lawsuit is now pending against Cheeburger Cheeburger. Cheeburger Cheeburger would not be admitting wrongdoing by installing the barriers, but they're certainly not required to do so by the law. Uh, in fact, if they did made, make a change afterwards, the, uh, that sort of a change would be kept out of uh, any lawsuit against Cheeburger. But after doing some digging, News 4 has learned it could be months before the issue is even addressed again in Amherst, an issue that would only increase public safety. I reached out to Benderson Development today to see if those bollards would be installed in front of Cheeburger Cheeburger. Benderson owns that property. My calls, however, went unanswered. Reporting live tonight, Edge Ranch, News 4 at 6. Well,